<laughs> and that just oh my goodness oh my goodness camp out right over there and park my Mustang in a, in a flat space over there and oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay so yes yeah, sir today with you so I like to draw too looking forward to doing a setting up at the Tucson gym and mineral show again one of these days might be a couple years here and I found out about there's something called the rock show in uh in uh Colorado to perhaps uh perhaps it's uh, Denver <laughs> not positive there but it's I hear as big as the uh, Tucson Gem and Mineral Show too which uh, uh, is huge I say so you could go there spend two the whole two weeks there and do that ten years in a row and never see everything there look at these little purple flowers coming up those green things sticking up those are wild onions or onions anyway used to be a big garden here from the the original owners there how onions came up over there i don't know but hey they're there <clears throat> see some of my uh nature art that would all pulled out of my forest and uh some more right there there's my Honda odyssey damn things faster than i thought there right yeah, I, can, I can get get up to a uh, hundred passing, just hundred hundred five passing, passing uh, people on on my way to uh, Wally World. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, battery pack is charged up here. I'll get my keys out and show you what is becoming my garage here <clears throat> my workshop put that down here my workshop and storage excuse me uh, oh that feels better so this is where the bathroom was and the whole floor was missing there was kind of a kind of a flimsy wall thing right here it took that out and uh there was a there was a, a closet not closet kind of storage enclosed thing here it's obviously gone there was a wall in here. I put this in. I put a f the floor back in. There, this was in the kitchen over here. On the on the wall, I took it out, and it's sitting over here. That was in my house. There, that mirror was in this house here. <clears throat> there and uh, and then. This was in the shed that was over there that I took down. This was also uh, in the shed that I took down over there. And so now they're here. There. And uh, you, you like my handles here? And then, uh, okay, and, and then, let's, let's do this way first. And then, this here was a kitchen and you see the wall was you see the coming down here there was a wall there and half the floor was missing you know from here to there was gone just the uh two by six and the dirt down below 
there. So that wall's out. All the lath and plaster, you know, all that, you know, one inch by quarter inch stuff and then the plaster over it. That's all out here. I mean, like these open window spaces and won't be any glass in there, but <clears throat> that there was a uh, there was a closet here. This I don't know what they call this room here. Kind of a bedroom, maybe, but there was a closet right over here. This opening <clears throat> and uh, So and then and then there's the the ceiling that you've got this look all that old wallpaper <laughs> and stuff and you can see the the whatever you call that laughing plaster stuff it was like two foot lower look this one's higher and this one's lower I just noticed that but this you can see uh, I've taken all of that down all uh, is uh these 12 by 12 squares there and the and the one by stripping across and then the two by fours across all of that's out there is a wall across here that's out and that's all reinforced that came out of the woods on the other side of my house there's that was a that was a booger to get up by myself that that was a challenge that yep yep it was <laughs> so taking the ceilings out of here made this really open this up more and this is a whole workspace area i'll be using this wood to finish up different things and and here or somewhere else um here and then Yesterday, just yesterday, I finished taking the floor out in here. See, it had it had this, you know, eighth inch stuff all over the the top. There, I got that all out, and then it's this old, this wood flooring all here with two by six <clears throat> across. And just yesterday, I finished getting that all off. I'm going to leave this part. I'm going to leave that part there, and there'll be uh, some steps uh, down here, <clears throat> down to here, there. And uh, the Mustang's, I'm going to park it right there. <laughs> How am I going to do that, huh? <laughs> well, I got it figured out. <clears throat> Get over here, go to... I got this kind of makeshift in here. So, this is my drive up here. <clears throat> I might be able to get it up like this, but it it's just a little bit of a hump here. I'm going to put my shovel to work uh, there and make that more of a more like this and <clears throat> and then so uh i'll be taking this all out uh here i'll get a jackhammer or, you know and i got a sledgehammer i'll figure that out this is four or five inches <clears throat> thick it's just empty underneath all right here so i'm going to take that out from here across to uh uh maybe like over in here you know this side of this window i'll take all of that out all of this out i'll bust this up and uh that will all go down in there there and then of course there's uh, that foundation I'll bring it down to ground level there I got some big six by six and two by six I found there's a over in uh, Tulsa there there's a fellow that uh, repurposes wood from the railroad cars there's big thick pieces of wood 
there and I think I'm gonna get some of that too but this this there'll be uh be real careful here uh, so the door and wall he'll come out from here over to that side of the the window there and and at that height across there I'm gonna <clears throat> nail uh, I think two two by six up in there across that whole span the ten by tens will come up and then other heavy wood going across and that all attached so it'll be uh, much as strong or stronger than it was before there and then I'll have two you know barn type doors uh, there and uh, and I'll put a regular door in, in that side of that barn door there so I can have a deadbolt in it. I pull up, I can unlock that, come in, and then unlock the barn doors from here and swing them open there. But this will all get filled in to what the ground level is uh, out there. So I can just drive right on in here, and then uh, uh, eventually I'll get... Uh, uh, the like driveway gravel uh put in here we'll see um there's with the driveway gravel and uh fill this in and uh we'll see uh and I eventually i think um i get a concrete pad put in but i'll get the that all filled in. I, I think I'm going to uh, get up on top and go ahead and uh, knock down uh, all of this here in the laughing plaster. Just do the two by six. And I got some sheets of plywood up there already. I'm going to get a few more because that'll be like another room storage area up there. So I'll get the ply this stuff down and that'll help fill this up too there and then I'll get uh, get plywood put down up there and I'll uh, make some kind of a ladder or something uh, uh, either on this side somewhere or on this side here so I can get up in there and it's in the it's got I don't know if you notice from the outside but it, and you can't really tell from here, but in the middle, you got about a nine or ten foot there, and then it you know slopes on down to the sides there. I can make a whole flipping room up there uh, there, so that's that's what'll happen uh there as I go along and be here for a while, you know um. Might be here until I uh, take off uh, there. So see how it goes. See what I'll be here to know. I'll be here to find out there. But I, this will be my new my new garage for my new to me Mustang here. Um, I think I pull the Mustang in, you know, and park on an angle like this, I think I could get uh, maybe a Baja bug in over there, or a, a road bike, a, a bobber, perhaps, there. So, we'll see. I'm all about having too much fun there. Having too much fun there so we're looking forward to the uh on the road and uh through the countryside to open uh cattle and ranch land and on into the hills and mountains and uh the in uh like new mexico arizona colorado idaho uh there in uh northern california there and I'll be 
Pav drives and Pav videos. I didn't know what Pav meant, so I looked it up. You know, point of view, point of view. So I'll get one of those uh, cameras and the, however it is you know, set up where they strap it, it's strapped around and positioned on one's forehead there. So as you go along, and like I said, it's going to be. October, November, so no need to watch for a bunch of content um, over that time uh, there. I'll, I'll do updates uh, on uh, progress uh, with this, with my garage, my workshop and, uh, and garage for, the, for my Mustang uh, there. There'll be uh, updates occasionally with that so you can see how this is going uh, there so uh, yeah and that I closed that up there it steps in from the outside this was a, a basement cellar kind of thing there you could I'm I'm six foot you know and I'd, I'd have to bend over there to be in it so it's not like well, you know people were shorter in the in the mid 50s when this and, and my house home next door were built there but uh still uh so i'm going to i got some concrete blocks and see some of them stacked up over there from uh what was footings and 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 stuff for for the for the shed uh out there and uh footsteps that are like four inch thick things right there and 12 by 12 there but i'm going to you know mix up some concrete here and uh finish that off close that off uh there the the neighbor cats they're all they're all wild you know uh, there and, and I enjoy them quite a bit but they they were coming in here uh, there and uh, and uh, they they like that chair a lot I don't know why there and then they were sleeping on top of my Honda the seats from my Honda there so I got to get some kind of cat hair brush there to brush the cat hair off of that <laughs> so after, after that I said okay I felt sorry for you guys there and, and left that open because it had been freezing you know down below you know down into the 20s and teens and I uh there I'm going why don't these people take care of their cats it's fucking freezing out there so I left it open but I said oh the hell with that man you're not <laughs> I understand why you want to sleep there <laughs> but that ain't that don't work for me there but uh <clears throat> so I'm I'm going to uh I'm going to build something uh for them uh there I, I think I may make it kind of sectioned off because I, I occasionally hear some of them fight but make like you know, all, all, all is one, but like dividers. So there's like three different areas there, and have it maybe like three foot wide, three foot high, and uh, maybe four foot. We'll see. And then uh, about six foot long there. So there can be three, two foot by three foot. Uh, areas and then I'll put some insulation in there and uh some blankets and and stuff there and uh, some kind of a flap for the entryway there so they have s something where they can get in um out of the direct weather uh there I love cats I just and dogs, but I ain't gonna have any more of my own um, there. Um, cats are better at uh, uh, 
uh, as far as uh, uh, they dig a hole, you know, outside to do their business. The dogs just shit everywhere, <laughs> and I'm I'm done with picking up dog poop. I am done with it, and I'm done with uh, cats clawing up my stuff and cat hair everywhere. I'm tired. I'm, I'm done with dog hair everywhere and dogs chewing shit up and inside and out and uh, I'm done with that and I'll, I'll just enjoy the hell out of other people's cats and dogs there it's a these these structures that I, like I did another nature art with wood and logs and stuff from the forest there on that side kind of extends a patio out and now the squirrels uh, can more safely come down and across that and onto the roof so they can get across and out to the giant pecan tree uh, out here because the cats will sit on my the corner of my railing over there and watch to see <laughs> and then I, I and try to catch them and then the squirrels evade them each time but so it, it's a plus for me in enjoying the, that that nature art and covered you know open covered area there and it's a plus for them and then watching the cats climb up it and and enjoy resting on it and stuff uh there and the and the, the small birds are starting to come back so watching the birds enjoy that and the squirrels enjoy that and stuff uh is uh really nice there it, with the van life and out there in the forest for two, three weeks at a time, there the uh, the wildlife is your closest friend. <laughs> the fish in the rivers and the birds and the squirrels and uh, dragonflies. Thank you, dragonflies, for eating all the damn mosquitoes and little little bugs uh, there. But uh, so I'm I'm thrilled about this. Uh, I mean. It, <clears throat> Um, <laughs> my place next door that I live in was only seventy-two thousand. This was forty-seven hundred dollars. Here, it, it couldn't it couldn't do that in SoCal, man. No way you could do that in Southern California. No. <laughs> oh, you know, like heaven on earth out there, except for that. Nazi new scum fucking everything up there. A little politics for you there. Uh, yeah, you totally fucked that place up, but we're going to turn that around. And that dude going to face some brutal consequences there. So, and that's when I'll be able to go back into California, too. You know, uh, uh, U-Haul was making the most money from of any state, you know, from everybody exiting, getting out of California. <laughs> that kind of makes a statement. <laughs> probably damn New York's probably damn close there, but uh, that just feels really good, and feels good. You know, this is something I can. I got. Close to 30 years, three decades in construction uh, here. So this is something simple. For, it, there's some brain work and stuff, figuring out how to take it apart where it doesn't fall on you and stuff and how to put it back together there. They, they want $5 for a building permit uh, here. So when I get to where I'm actually going to do some building, like the garage door opening, uh, here, uh, there, I'll, I'll go do that. No, I won't. <laughs> it's a little downtown. Let's see there, but uh, something I can do myself uh, there. Uh, I could do, I've, I've changed the uh, clutch. I had a 70 Roadrunner, a burnt orange, you know, 33 Magnum, her pistol grip. Four speed there. I fucking love that. There I put I put the headers. I, I changed the clutch on that. I changed the freeze plugs out on it because it, uh, at least twice 
it blew freeze plugs out. It, Dodds and Plymouth, what the hell is with that? I, I put, uh, I've changed out starters. I've put headers in, in my Roadrunner. I put headers in my 75 Ford F-250 four-wheel drive there. Changed the starter on it. I put headers on my uh, first Mustang, the 69. I put them on myself there and uh, stuff, but... Uh, um, we'll see, uh, what I'd like to do, like with the mechanic in town, uh, there, or at Steeda, I don't know the, you know, with their insurance stuff, but I, I like to ask the mechanic if, if I can help, you know, say, you know, he says, okay, unbolt this, I go unbolt that, you know, okay, or bolt this back up and torque, here's a torque wrench, set it at 49 pounds, and so, uh, I, I want to see, what I can do, but under the, uh, uh, assistance of, uh, a dude that, uh, knows what to do on it, um, there and has the tools, uh, to, uh, there. So, um, you know, get it up on the left, you know, and then, and help with, uh, getting the headers in and, uh, you know, the, the H or X pipe and then the cap backs on and maybe I, I want to go to uh, an aluminum drive shaft at, at some time or whatever uh, I had one on the the 80 on the uh, 89 50 there but and as uh, some of the carbon fibers like a uh, additions like uh, like the hood you know I'd like to just have the the mechanic here in town and I see about just working with him and putting that on a, a carbon fiber hood. I, I think like with the, the four inch high cowl on it. And then, uh, then the wing on the back, I, I may, I might, I think I could probably just do that myself there. I'd like, I want more of one of those, uh, there's several wings I like, but when it, I, they, they've got more of a low profile where it's only up about four or five inches instead of uh, eight, nine, ten inches. Uh, they're like what they have on the GT cars for the uh, endurance races and stuff. But the, the lower one instead of the higher one uh, is what I'm focused on there and I want to watch some videos I want to I like uh the wide body there but the ones where you, you like I don't I, I don't know if you screw them on or, or what uh there but uh uh that there and the side rocker panels or what I know well that might be the term with overlanding there but there's uh you know, some carbon fiber, those things along the, the side there, and then a, a spoiler there. And um, I'm going to, I'm going to just run it stock for, for some time. I want to get all these other things done first, suspension and exhaust system with the headers, long tube and there and the tires and wheels to go with it and the spoiler in the back and stuff and then uh um and then uh i'll boost it or i can't even boost it i saw a guy one of the uh channels i follow i forget their name now but he's wearing a t-shirt said boosted i like that but uh uh i like the whipple and stuff but i i'm looking at the ESS um, there. It looks to me like the, the, the maintenance is real simple on that, and there's uh, it's an easier bolt-on uh, there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I like what I hear, uh, what I've been learning about that uh, there. Um, so... I'm, That'll that'll come along um, uh, like 
in my first year of having it there. I want uh, reliability there, and I understand that the, that uh, that they and the Whipple are quite reliable, is what I understand there and stuff. But I like that ESS there, and I like the sound from that too there. Uh, so, you know, I, you know, probably the 600 to 700 to the wheel, uh, horsepower, uh, and what I'd be looking at there, uh, 900 and a thousand and that, you know, that's all fun and, and cool, but I'm not into drag racing. I'm into roads, driving the roads there. And, uh, I'm not into tickets at all or higher insurance either. So it'll be um, mostly uh, uh, cruising, mostly cruising there and definitely having some fun here and there, there. But uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to track it. I'm not going to go to the drag strip. I'm not going to, I might uh, go, I might, uh, I might, uh, go to the track, you know, every, uh, once or twice, uh, there just to, uh, like, where, I gotta find out where the tracks are. Is, is Sebring in California there? I don't know, but find out where some of these tracks are. I know there was a track in, uh, in Vegas, uh, there, but, uh, just to get it on a, a, track and not go totally insane on it uh, there but just get on a track where i know it's okay to fucking go you know to just fucking run um there so uh but nothing insane there just yeah i'll leave that i'll leave that to others there and i'll enjoy them you know going full out on it. It's always been a dream to to be a race car driver there. And so, so it'll be fun to get on one of those one of those uh, tracks I've watched endurance races on there. Wouldn't that be uh, fun to do Le Mans there, drive the Le Mans? Holy shit. God's <laughs> Cost a shitload of money to get your car over there, though. <laughs> but that would be a trip. <clears throat> there is there a bridge going from here to there? That'd be fucking cool. Maybe they'll build an underwater tunnel. You know, a a a a, 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 uh, a see through tunnel where we can drive from the states. Uh, over to Europe there. That would be flipping outrageous, huh? I bet we could there and have little restaurant stops uh, along the way and make it like, uh, what's that highway? What's the uh, Nuremberg or what the hell is that where they can, there's no speed limit on it. Make it like that there. Or do two of them, one for the pussies. I mean, one for the people that want to drive a speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> and one for the, those of us that want to just fucking blow through there. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's put that on the I want list. I want, a, I want tunnels. And then another one from California uh, over to Hawaii and from Hawaii over to like uh, 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 Japan and, and then over to China uh, there. We're going to have things cleared up here, and the, the fucking CCP globalist fucks will be completely and totally out of business <clears throat> there. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that video stays up. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not into tyranny. I'm not into that at all. There. Um, so, um, 
Yeah. I'll put a link under this, uh, in the description for this video here, if you uh, want to see some uh, information that's uh, um, not being shared on uh, mainstream media there. If, um, if you want to watch uh, and uh, listen to some other information and, uh, you know, connect the dots for yourself, see where you... Uh, you know, um, yeah, see where you're at on it uh, there after uh, listening to some alternative uh, information about what's going on here. There, I'll put a link up there in the description there and uh um yeah check out the 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 subscription those the the youtube channels i'm subscribed to um as well uh there uh there check out my playlist there you'll, you'll find greg you said and the other fitness fellow I like, you'll find uh, 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 Mustang Fun, uh, 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 Mustang Canyon Runs, and uh, Mustang Week, those are the, those are two of the, uh, three of the uh, playlists I, I keep adding to uh, there, and as I, uh, I have another channel too, and it, where I'm following a, a number of other uh, uh, fellows or teams, you know, companies that uh, with uh, Mustangs uh, there, and I'll gradually uh, I get um, subscribed to them uh, there, so you can uh, check them out if you haven't already there. But uh, my new garage for my next Mustang, which will be my third Mustang. Alrighty. See you in the next video. Whenever that'll be. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Here, yeah, like I said, uh, it'll, the videos I'm doing now, between now, which is, uh, today is the 3rd of March, uh, 2024. You know, and to uh, to um, October or November will be updates as far as um, how the how the garage is coming along uh, here. There, here's another look at it. There, it's not going to be all f f new and flashy. There, with a marbled. Uh, concrete floor <laughs> and stuff. No, I kind of like the old and the old, <laughs> the old look here and stuff. There's her. Hey, there's one of the neighbor cats right over there. Right over there. All right. Have too much fun.